Let's look at another non-parametric test. This time, the non-parametric analog to the independent samples t-test. This was also developed in part by Wilcoxon and also a man named Man. That's a that's a good band name. Um, this is called the rank sum test, and you'll see it in a lot of different names. A lot of people develop versions of this. I want to show you some cool data. These are older data. These data come from when the internet first came out. And it was so cool because you had people who did and didn't use the internet. I know this is likely unfathomable to you as you're watching this. It's unfathomable to me 20 years later that we lived and got by without the internet, but a lot of people did. And there was a lot of debate at that time is how is the internet going to disrupt society and family and mental health and relationships? And so these are some data from the year 2000 of do people who spend time on the internet spend less time with their family? So we think about, okay, I have, do you use the internet? Yes or no. And then I have data from how much time do you spend with your family? Now, take a look at these distributions. These are not normal. They're classic long tail rider positive skewed distributions. You also see a lot of people who spend zero time with their family. They are called lucky. Now, we cannot do an independent samples t test here because the data don't meet the assumptions. They don't meet the assumptions of normality. What can we do? Well, our gut says let's log the data. But because we have so many zeros here, ask your Alexa right now. Alexa, what is the log of zero? Siri, what is the log of zero? It's undefined. So you cannot log these. So we have to think about, is there any way to analyze these data that somehow has a summary statistic of central tendency that makes sense? Because it's not gonna be the mean. It's not gonna be the mean. So Will Coxon figured out a way to take the data and turn it into ranks, into ranks. That guy over there, he uses the internet and he spends a lot of time with his family. So he gets a high rank. That person over there, she uses the internet and she doesn't spend any time with her family. So she gets ranked down at the bottom. How much time? I don't care. I've thrown it out on purpose so that I can rank everybody. And then what I actually do is I go the mean of the ranks, the mean of the ranks. He figured out how to turn this into a Z statistic and we can interpret a Z statistic in terms of probability. What's the probability of getting these two data sets if the null hypothesis were true? If the null hypothesis were true. Again, go into the windows and look for non-parametric test of hypotheses. And syntax wise, this is really easy. Rank sum. And then the outcome variable, which is ETA fam, and it's split up by do you use the internet or not? And here's the output. Here's the output. It spits a Z statistic, and the P is less than 0.05. And you can say people who use the internet spend less time with their family than people who don't. How much time less? I don't know. I I threw away the mean on purpose because I knew it wasn't appropriate. So I don't have the magnitude of that difference and I don't have a confidence interval around it. But I do know from personal experience, N equals one, that people who spend time on the internet spend less time with their sons. I, I, I'm over. It's fine. Dad, it's okay. It's fine. 